The amount of people that said that we needed to distribute for this expression is alarming. So I had to make a video. First, we need to understand what the distributive property actually is and what it's used for. The distributive property of addition states that a times b plus c is equal to ab plus ac, meaning multiplying a single value a by the sum of two or more values, which here are b and c, is equal to or the same as distributing multiplication to both values separately. Something that's important to mention here is that this operation removes the parentheses. You can also distribute multiplication over subtraction and distribute exponents over exponents. When first learning this property, it's usually taught using numerical expressions, meaning only numbers. So an example like this, which helps show how this property works and how it's true. Practicing with numbers helps to build a good foundation for algebra, working with algebraic expressions like this, which now contain variables. In this example, we can distribute the multiplication of two to x and three. The distributive property is great for expanding, factoring, and simplifying expressions. So when we have a numerical expression like this one that has everyone in a chokehold, yes, we can use the distributive property, but we still have to follow the correct order of operations to simplify, which is parentheses, exponents, multiplication and division, left to right, whichever comes first, addition and subtraction, left to right, whichever comes first. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally as a lot of you remember. Well most of you. But now let's remember that the distributive property is a property of multiplication. I also want to clear up the confusion on why four parentheses five is equal to four times five, because technically we're distributing that multiplication of four to the single value of five, which is also removing the parentheses. I just hope it's not the same people screaming that we need to distribute that are also saying that these aren't equivalent when they are using the distributive property here. I know it's nobody watching this video. I, I know it's not. Now is when I also want to clear up the confusion about the format of this expression and people talking about implicit multiplication. If we were supposed to multiply first for this expression, then the parentheses would be here. And then yes, you would be right in getting five when you simplify, but it's not written like this. And if we wanted to rewrite this as a fraction, it would be this or written as two fractions, this, and the answer would still be 125. So now back to the question, why would you distribute here to begin with? To explain this further, I'm going to give you an analogy that I made up. So imagine we had an expression like this, two times two plus three plus five plus 11 plus nine. And let's imagine this parentheses represents the inside of a store. And we have these amount of apples all around the store, two, three, five, 11, nine, just all around the store. And imagine that at checkout, they have this machine that can actually double all of your apples. So yes, what we could do is first take these two apples that we found, take them to check out and double them, and then take them out of the store. And then what we can do is go to the three apples that we found, take them to check out, then take them out of the store. And then we can do the same thing for the five apples, take them to check out, and then take them out of the store. But why? When we could simply first add up all of these apples, take them to check out and take them out of the store together in our cart. Now we got 60 apples and we taken out of the store together instead of taking all of those trips work smarter, not harder. This is why it's important to remember to simplify what's inside of the parentheses first if you can, which we can for this expression. And also why this is the first step of the order of operations. But let's say, hey, you just wanna spend more time because you really wanna do the distributive property. Okay, when done correctly, using the order of operations, check this. You're gonna get 125. So to summarize, if you're getting a five, you're simplifying this expression. If you got 125, great job, because that is this expression simplified following the order of operations. And if you got something else, you're simply just trying to follow your own rules. It's cool to be rebellious and all, but you would still fail your math test on the order of operations because you're not following the correct order. When you know better, you do better. <laughs>